Okay, I showed you guys how to do a hard reset from the compressor outside. Now I'm going to show you how to do a soft reset with the remote control inside. All you need is a ballpoint pen and the remote control. Here is where your settings should be set at for maximum uh, well efficiency. You can set your fan speed usually on two bars or three. That gives you the best uh, output of heat um, and the mode being on heat. Now let's say the programming timer energy sensor is on um, that's by pressing the energy sensor the energy savings icon comes on uh, and this only puts it in energy savings after 20, 20 minutes or so and if there's a no, no movement in the house after 20 minutes it'll go into like a three quarter power mode so you press it again to toggle it off while aiming it at the unit and if you notice here too, right next to the energy savings, uh, there's an economy button. That overrides the energy savings sensor, which is located here on the left. And if you have it on economy mode, a little econo light will come on. If you press it again, the icon comes off. Let's say you mess something up, you mess around with the timing programmer down these buttons down here and you don't know what you did you want to bring it back to factory settings the little button here where it says reset try to focus in on that there reset there at the bottom you just basically aim the, the remote control at the unit use a ballpoint pen hold it in for a few seconds and voila <clears throat> the screen will go back to this mode here so you'll notice the unit's still running. So you just simply press the power button to bring the screen back on. Turn off the energy saving sensor, which is by this button right here. Take your mode off of auto, put it back to heat. Set it to your desired temperature. And your fan speed on auto if preferred, or usually I prefer it at two. So it's not as noisy and it's not as annoying. And if you want a little boost of heat, you just simply press the powerful button. That'll give you a boost of heat for about 20 minutes. Also, for programming the clock, down at the bottom there's a clock adjust here. Simply press it and hold it for a few seconds. Notice the screen comes on there. You can select your up and down arrow at the bottom to change the day. Then go next to go to your time. And right now it is... 3.50 p.m. So I can go back or forth by pressing the select button up and down arrow and it'll go in intervals of 10, set 10 minutes at a time. And you can bring it down to the proper time to achieve it. And once you're done setting the time, you hit send. Time is set, remote is reset, you're back to normal. Hope that helps. Till the next one.